I was arrested for wearing a bandana. It apparently was a secret city code that was passed in lieu of the evil protesters coming down to talk about how they didn't want to eat shitty food. In retrospect, looking back on who they arrested, I mean, everyone had had some sort of cover or, you know, something in case they fired, you know, pepper spray or tear gas at us. Who they ended up arresting was all support people for, for the protest. They, they arrested people from Food Not Bombs and stole their carts so that they weren't, you know, able to take food to people who would need food. They, they arrested legal observers who, you know, were out documenting what people were doing. They arrested comms personnel, you know, who were keeping people together. They arrested indie media people who were out there documenting what was happening. Okay. Why am I being this dress code violation was was passed as a city ordinance but never signed into law. And uh, no, no one that I know of was notified of this prior to actually going on to the streets. So they didn't have a very good advertising campaign going on for it either. Can I ask you, is there an ordinance against wearing a bandana? That's something I heard. There's no ordinance against wearing a gas mask during a. Uh, there is one. A, a, for wearing a gas mask during a uh, protest, there is no ordinance against wearing a gas mask. Okay. There is one. For wearing a gas mask during an event like this, okay. There's, there's an ordinance against that. I don't know the about the bandana. I'll have to look that up. So. Do you know the purpose of, of the ordinance against wearing a gas mask? Well, I could probably hypothesize what the, the purpose of it is, but what would you think? I'll let you go look that up for yourself, so you can get the exact wording. Actually, I've seen the ordinance. I'm just wondering what the, the purpose one, okay. for it is. Yeah, I feel like you had. I'm wondering what the purpose for it is, though. Because it doesn't say in the ordinance. It just says okay. there is no Do you want to ask them about that rumor we've been hearing? Yeah, we heard this rumor that there's uh, an ordinance that was passed about uh, wearing like band <laughs> bandanas or something, stuff covering your face. Uh, we have an ordinance in Sacramento that has to do with masks. Masks in general? Wearing, uh, what is it, mask? What kind of mask? These things? Gas masks. Gas, gas masks. Mask, gas, gas masks? Mask. Yeah, but, but not, uh, not like right. bandanas I, or goggles. I, I'm, or I'm not familiar with that, though. I, no. Cameras! It's really sad, you know, we went down to Sacramento to be heard, to get our voice out there, to say there is a population of people who don't want to eat your shitty food. And 8,000 cops showed up to say, fuck you. You're going to eat this shitty food. You're going to be quiet. You're going <laughs> to do what you're told. I believe Sacramento violated my civil rights when they took me off the street for a dress code violation, something that's not at all illegal. They just wanted to arrest me. They just wanted me off the street. They just wanted the people who I was arrested with off the street. The less information that you can give them about you on the street, the better. I mean, they're going to have a they're going to have information about you already, but I mean, 
it's bullshit. And by wearing the mask, not only are you protecting yourself, but you're also protesting that sort of fascism. You're also protesting the fact that you don't want them to know who you are. <laughs> If we didn't need masks, we wouldn't wear them. If we didn't need gas masks, we wouldn't wear them. But they prove time and time again that they're, they're more than willing to fire at us, that they're more than willing to, to do damage to us in any way that we can protect ourselves, we should, because it's that important that we practice democracy. It's that important that we get out there and we have our voices heard. It's that important that we build community, that if we have to wear masks, if we have to wear body armor, it's worth it. The people united will never be divided. The people united will never be divided. We do this for our protection. We do it for when they spray pepper spray. You have some sort of barrier between your lungs and their, their toxic chemicals that they're trying to put on you to make you panic and scared. What? That's a lot of stuff that guy's wearing. By wearing a mask, all you're doing is protecting yourself. You're not hurting anyone. If you're scaring someone, it's because they're not informed. And they should be informed. They should come up. They should ask questions. I would, I would say that, that the more people hear about it, the more people know, the less that anyone would ever be afraid of someone wearing a mask during a protest. Unless it's a riot cop. Unless it's a riot cop, because he's going to come up and pepper spray you and cover his badge number so that when you go to sue him, they're like, none of us were down there, tee <laughs> The tape over his badge all number all and his name tag. How about that? He doesn't have a name tag, but he's got a corporate logo. <laughs> 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 That's bullshit. We love this country more than you do, guaranteed, because we're willing to take part in the democracy that it takes to have this country actually be a democracy. We're willing to get out there and, and say something instead of drive around our SUVs and enjoy the luxury of being a fat, rich, white American. Oh, yay, you know, we get to be on top of the world and stamp on all the dark people who, who are starving because we want to rule everything. We want to be able to drive horrible cars. We want to be able to eat the, the good food and leave the shit for everyone else. That's why I went down to Sacramento. <laughs>